Hi there everybody, welcome to another video. On today's video I have my CLK here, the convertible version, um, which I have issues with the uh, the roof, because the roof is not working. And uh, some time ago I made a video on how you can open the roof uh, manually. Um, but I did forget to mention something on that video, so I'm hoping to cover that on, on today's video. So I'm just remaking the video, but with the extra step that I didn't do back then. Um, but one thing is, <clears throat> because my roof, the particular problem I have with my roof is that when it's shut, um, the car thinks that it's still open. As a result, I can't unlock, I can't open the boot. So the car unlocks, but I can't open the boot. So you need, uh, you will need your key uh, to open it. However, uh, if you left, so you can, this is the key. You can remove that key from your actual fob um, and put it in there. But because I left it for quite a long time, it's hard to put it in there and also it's not turning. So I just uh, sprayed a lot of uh, this stuff in there in order to get it going. And I may need the help of this to turn it a little bit. But of course, always remember to be careful if you're using an extra aid because you could damage things so just be gentle when trying to turn the key um, so you don't break anything that would be the idea so there we are okay now it's beginning to turn so once it's turned You can actually push that in and it will release the boot. <clears throat> so let's get this out. So I think I will spray a little bit of grease in there as well. Because I don't really wanna I don't wanna I don't want this to become damaged and then I won't be able to access the boot. That would be quite a problem so still quite hard to turn with my hand it just goes hard so we re really need to spray it with uh, with the stuff let me spray some actually okay so in order to manually open your sunroof you're gonna need one of these keys you can get this from Mercedes and that you're also going to need a flathead screwdriver. So um, provided you manage to get into the boot. So provided you get uh, into your boot, if you go inside here, you have this cover. Obviously this is the cover you need to pull um, in order to operate your, your roof. But uh, like I said, at the moment I'm investigating, so Everything is a bit loose, um, but just below that, there's this little opening here. And that's where you need to get your flathead screwdriver. And you will see it gets, it's like a like a screw in there which we need to release the pressure so now i'm just undoing the screw releasing the roof pressure pressure up to a point where it stops because if you don't release the pressure you will not be able to move the roof uh, it will be very hard i mean you might be able to open it because last time i was able to open it but you won't be able to close it. So with that done, we can then take our tools. Gonna close the boot, but not fully. And then we can go into the car. Just need the key. 
so the one thing that's still working with my car it's it's the uh going down of the windows when you unlock the roof here all the windows go down okay now switch off the ignition and we go to the back and actually what we need to do here is just get your boot open again and then we're going to release this we're going to release the back cover here with this tool so let me get okay now there is supposed to be a panel in here which i remove to investigate this area here but in that panel there is a hole and that hole you can with that through that hole you can access that which you can then release that just make sure it's all the way open this again and then you can push this open there we are might be a little bit hard but it's done and now with the other side of your key you need to find the release that is somewhere here that's where it is and there we are that is the second part we can then push the roof back in there so that will be the next step so before i do that uh, for the video i'm just going to remove this uh, cover here i'll do that on my own just a few clips here because the next i've already checked that system there i want to check this one um make sure the uh, micro switch is working so don't forget to remove that and don't leave it somewhere there because if you put the you might lose it <laughs> somewhere um, anyway so we'll come back when I push the roof back okay so then you push this part down and uh, come here lift the roof up and push it down and it should go down by itself just one thing to remember, it's pretty hard to pull this up by yourself, so you may want some help. But anyway, you push that down and you can then bring this down. And you have a convertible car. So obviously you have to push this all the way down and uh, you need to lock it into, into place. You might need the tool. And like I said, it can be a little bit hard. So I'm just gonna get to the back here. See if I can push it down here. I definitely need this to lock it in place. There we are. That's it. Nice and locked. So we have a convertible car. Lovely. And now to put it 
up again. Again, you need to find the little kind of bolt there. Lift that up. So yes, there's supposed to be a cover here, which I remove. And then once that is up, you can then <clears throat> pull the roof up here. So it could be hard, a little bit hard to do it, but it is doable. And the other thing is, um, push this bit up again so that whole movement just there if you did not release the pressure on that valve you will not be able to do it you will be stuck trying to pull this up and it will be as hard as rock because <laughs> obviously you cannot beat the hydraulics so once you finish your procedure now it's just a uh, I think it goes without saying, but obviously you push this down again, put your little key in there and lock it. And then you push that one down and you have to, you do have to push it down a little bit hard to lock into place and then lock it with your tool. Um, and you can, you can leave the pressure relief valve open while you manually operate your roof. Once you fix your roof, then you can start using, uh, then you, you will have to wind your um, pressure relief valve in again so there is pressure in the system, otherwise it won't work. <laughs> um, so until you actually get it fixed, you can actually just leave it open. Um, so with that said, I think I'm gonna end this video now. I mean, my next video is going to be, once I find out what the problem with this is, I will try to post that. Um, so far, I, I don't know what's wrong with it. It works, sometimes it works at certain parts and whatnot, so I think one of the micro switches might be, might be potty, but someone else also suggested that very often the cables here break, because this part opens and shuts. And also uh, the cables from the the other micro switch under here also tend to break. So that's what I'm going to check next myself. I am going to open this cover and check the micro switch in there and the wiring that goes down. It could be that just the micro switch is faulty, and then uh, when this is shut and this shuts the car it's thinking the car is open because I've already checked this one and that is working so like I said it's got to be that one or this one I'm guessing um, there are another two micro or three micro switches in this car um, so step by step hopefully I find what the problem is and the other problem I have is the alarm the alarm is going off and whatnot and I tried to make a video uh, before but uh, that was unsuccessful I still need to figure out what's wrong with the alarm. It could be related to the switch, I don't know. But anyway, regarding the manually opening of the roof, I hope this video helps and um, we'll see you in the next video. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.